This video will help serve as a tutorial for the Automoblox axle and looking at the complicated geometry and dimensions that go along with it. As we take a look at the part that we have to go through and model, we're going to try to uh, make this a little bit simpler on ourselves by only sketching half of the, of the profile and then using the revolve feature in order to go through and to create our part. So a lot of dimensions that are part of this and as we go through we'll do a few different options to make sure that we keep everything in place. So as I go into Inventor I'll start a new 2D sketch on the XY plane and from here I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to start down here at the bottom of this part, the little kind of post in the middle and then we'll go through and keep kind of draw along. So I'm going to start from the origin I'm going to draw up and then as I go out to the side I will go through and I will notice that this line here is 0.19 long so as I draw this out I'm going to kind of punch in values as I drawing a line I'll hit enter to go through and to set that in place. I'm going to right click and say OK for now because I want to do a little bit more setup on this part. I'm going to draw another line along the x-axis here so it doesn't matter the length in this case and then I'm going to right click on the line and make it a center line. So the center line will show up and be used to go through to help us to create some of the dimensions that are showing up on the drawing. For example, a diameter of 0 0.19, 0 0.25, and see how they extend down to, to show what the full diameter would be in this part. So as I go along, I'll go through and use that. One thing I need to do, and sometimes that will happen, is I need to fix the center line where it's at. So I want it to stay there, I don't want it to move, and as I dimension along, I'll go through and do that. Speaking of dimensioning, we'll go through and I'll dimension this point here to be 0.19 as shown on the drawing and then I'll also go through, I'm going to take a line and I'm going to draw across so I really don't know what's the length on that, they didn't give me one but we'll go through and take a look at it. I'll draw another line out this way so on the drawing it has this 0.33 and I'll go through and have my line set up like so. I'm going to right click and say OK. I'm going to make these two lines collinear to each other so then that way I don't have to dimension on the other side as well because they are the exact same dimension. And then I'll go along and keep kind of sketching in my geometry, doing it little by little. I'm going to look at finishing out the right side first and then we'll come back to the left as it tends to have a little bit more complicated shapes. So I'm going to draw up and then over and about 0.05 and then come up and we'll use some of our dimensions to help us out. So as I draw, I'm going to come up just a little bit. It'll come over to be 0.05 and then I'll draw a line straight up here. So and then kind of draw a shape or draw a line right about there. So as I go through, if I need to, I'm going to pull down some of these dimensions here so just so that way it's a little easier to see. As far as dimensioning goes from here to here it's going to be 0.25 and then from the top to the center line 0.29. So as I take a look I've really hit all the dimensions. I hit all three of these diameter dimensions. I hit the 0.33 and 0.05 and then I can go through and start looking at some of the other parts. I'm going to start on the right on the left side here actually off of from going away from the right side and start doing this. So 0.19 was one we already sketched in. I'm going to come up a little bit and then draw another line out to be 0.25 long. So draw my line straight up and then over to the left side 0.25 and then um, I'm gonna, while keeping my line tool active 0.25 and then I'll come up a little bit and draw a little shape up here at the top so I'm gonna come up a little bit go like so and then I'm gonna draw a little part like this just so that way it gives me some work off of okay as I take a look from this line to the center line 0.25 which looks like it picked it up because I had it in line with this line over here and then from the top to this point 0.3 and then from this line here 0.05 so as we take a look we're getting really close to having our shape kind of created and we'll go through and see what we can work with from here so the only thing we have really have left is we have this angled line and then we have this other little square kind of top on it which I'm gonna kinda of work off the square top and leave the inclined line to the very end it's gonna be a lot easier as we do that so I'm gonna click on line 
I'm going to draw my uh, line like so to draw in the particular case. I'm going to stop a little bit short and then I'll go through and draw in my angled line like so. Looks a little exaggerated right now. It doesn't look exactly like the part, but we'll go through and get that taken care of. Dimension this to be 0.07 in this case. And as we go through, we do want this line to be in the same vertical position. So if you notice, this line and this line are exactly together. And that's what we want. If you don't have that, you can always choose on the vertical constraint, find the green dots that align right in the middle of the lines, and horizontally constrain them together so that way they show up in the same spot. Okay, as we go through and take a look, um, just kind of double check, 0.07 is what we got, 0 0.19, 0 0.25 for the lines, and then it has a 0.01 distance from this point to the point there. So there's a 0.01 deviation as we go there. Another one we, that we need to take a look at is a 0.4 from the top to the center line as well. So we'll just take care of that one. Dimension from this top to the center line, 0.4. And then, and again, the more dimensions we put in, the better this will look. So in order to get the deviation between, for this line here, I'm going to click on the very end point of the line, see the little dot that shows up, and then I'll click on the very dot or the end point of that line there. And as I draw across to set my dimension, I can set that to be 0.01, and now it looks a little bit more realistic to what we have. The bottom still looks a little too wide, and that's one where we got one dimension left over going from left to right. Going up here at the top it's a 0.93. I'm going to adjust this to be 0.88 and now we go through it'll size this down and it goes through and matches up with what sketch that we have here on the side. So as we go through and, and look at finishing this uh, one thing that we'll want to make sure to do is make sure we have a line that encompasses the bottom here. So to have a closed profile and then I will go through and say finish sketch. So once I do that I can say revolve and once I say revolve it'll be a full revolve from here. This will give us our profile. I'll say OK. And then this gives me my automobile blocks axle. And the only other thing we have to do is we have to put in the little the little square um, cutout that it goes through and allows the plastic to kind of give a little bit so that way that the the wheel will go through and fit on. So as I take a look, I'm going to go through, I'm going to turn this, turn this particular part around, and as I do that, I'm going to look at putting in a uh, plane on top of this. I can't really draw a new sketch on the circular surface, but I am going to put a new plane in. So I'm going to double click on the plus sign next to the origin folder. I need to find the plane that is parallel to where I want the piece to cut through. So the XZ looks like it's going to be the one that does that. I'm going to click on the arrow under plane and I'm going to choose tangent to surface and parallel to plane. So once I do that I click on the XZ plane and then I can click on the outside ring on the very end of the of the axle to make that happen. Once I do that I'll click start on 2D sketch and choose the the sketch plane that I have there. I'm going to turn this to the side just to make it look a little bit easier to work from. I'm going to project the geometry of the profiles that I have and then I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to start up here kind of on the end like so so really not centered because we're going to use something to help center it. Utilizing the horizontal tool I'm going to horizontally constrain the midpoint of this rectangle so once I find the green dot on it I'll click and I'm going to roll down until I find the green dot on the for the part there which is right along the x-axis of the sketch. So I'll click on it. Now the rectangle gets a little bit taller which I can go through and dimension now. The width of this is going to be 0.04 and then the length of this will be 0.2 for the cut. I'll say finish sketch. I will then extrude. I'm going to cut down into the part and for the distance I'm going to say all and I'll go through and say OK. Once I'm done I can either over in the browser I can right click and take the visibility off the sketch or I can actually right click on this on the sketch plane and take the visibility off through there. Only thing we have left 
is to go through and to make the color of our automobile blocks axle the same color which would be a dark green and this will go through and finish out the part for the activity.